Hello everyone and welcome to LARP. Mickey Sticky Flowers is back here in the server. I think uh, I think I'm gonna start listening to uh, what Bites has been telling me. The man that's working with the, the law, he's been telling me I need to better myself. So I'm, I'm gonna go get me. Uh, well, start my first day at a job. Uh, I work at uh, the clothing store in uh, Harmony. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be on my way, to, wait, not the clothing store, the 25th 7th store in Harmony. The, the, the one by, uh, the, the, the customs. So, we're gonna go get some gas first, and then we're gonna head on our way down there. Right. I'm gonna go knock on the door and whatnot, and then I'm gonna pull my other one out. Chair for the door. We're, we're gonna knock on the door and. Hey, what's this? There's a yellow paper in the door. What? What did that say? It says. Um. E. V. E. Eviction. What? Eviction notice. Eviction notice? What do you mean eviction notice? We're getting evicted? No, we, we can't get, be getting evicted. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, Mona, honey, open up. Mickey Jr., open up. I know you guys are, I know you guys are home. We're getting evicted. What do you mean we're getting evicted? I know you hear me in there. What's that? What's that, Mona? I hear you in there. Get a job. You know what? Screw you. I ain't gonna get a job. I'm gonna show you. We're not gonna get evicted. Watch. We're not gonna get evicted. I'm gonna get a job. Watch. I'm gonna get my van. I'm gonna show her. I heard her in there screaming. It's time to get a job. I'm gonna get a job. She doesn't know. I already got a job. I work at the 24 7, man. You heard me, man. I'm gonna lock my van, man. Apparently, my son's got a new van from my understanding. Let me rub down my windows real quick. Man, my son, my son is one lazy guy. He can't even fill the tank. He works too. He works at the clothing store. One in Harmony, the big one. I think it's called like the, the Blink or whatever. Yeah, I know, I know. I need gas. My son didn't fill it up. I got, I got to go to work. This thing's running low on gas. My son could have filled it up, but he didn't. I don't know why. I'm not upset with him, I'm just like, come on, man. I gotta fill this up. I just feel, I just put money in my, my new one. I'll fill it up for you, son, because I know you don't want to fill it up. Yeah, let's grab the nozzle. Let's stir it in. Man, she's low. She only had like. Come on. You stupid nozzle. These, these nozzles are being funny and not wanting to work. I think my son was messing with the, the gas tank, trying to mess with it. Oh, what is that car doing? I think they're road raging, it looked like. Oh! I 
th I think I'm good on gas for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Oh, no. I don't want the nozzle again. Put the nozzle back, man. Gotta head to work now, man. Ah, oh, I thought. Wait. Um. What is that cop doing? I was like, wait a minute. He stood there for a second. Like, you gonna try to pull me over? Ah. Oh. I swear to God, bro, is he gonna pull my? Is he gonna pull me over? Okay, he's not pulling me over. Good. I mean, one good thing about these vans, I gotta say, is like, I can't get really caught for speeding because these things, the things are slow. But hey, I love these vans because like, it gives you a place to sleep, like the back, the seats fold down and whatnot. Sometimes you can get the ones that turn into uh, beds, you know? See if anything interesting is going on over at the play with the play which looks empty. I heard I heard like uh the other day or something like that, uh something about some guy went there to go get his car or whatever and it, it was pink, it was in the news. I was like, huh? I'm like, I don't think I ever want to take my car there, man. Paint, paint my yellow van pink? You can't paint my yellow van. This is classic, man. I, I had this color back from like the mid 70s when I bought this thing. I took it to Coachella so many times. And then Dicky, he got the newer version of mine. And his was in good shape, but the, 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 the freaking cops had to ruin it, man. They had to ruin it. They, they left it rust. They left that side. Didn't they cover it up? Nothing. Bunch of assholes they are. I mean, mine, I mean, mine, 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 mine was rested way before Dickie's was, but that's because I got mine cheaper way. Oh, whoa! It, it, it was in my car, man. Looks like you may have hit that person. They went off road. They're back on the road now. And they're speeding up. Man, that, that car's zooming. to pull up. It's 24 7 right up here. I guess I'll just park on the other side of this car. Yeah, we'll park right here. Take our seatbelt up. We'll get out. We'll lock up, you know. What's up, man? Are right, you you're gonna right show me on. the ropes today? All right, so this is the register. I'm on register today. I gotta go clock in. All right, I go clock in. Where is it? Back here? Yep, I think it's back here. I clocked in, man. Alright, so, like, what do I... Wait, okay, so what do I gotta do? I just stand here, and then, like, when people come in, I just hit the, uh, like, say something's worth, like, $5. I just hit $5, and then whatever, when I ring it up, the tax get... Yeah. Alright. You sit there and be on your phone. I, I, I'm hearing it ding. You sit here to do my job. Is, is it normally slow? Oh, it is.
when I when I ask you something, do you mind if I like uh you mind if I vape in here, man? I'm a, I'm gonna vape. What do you mean I can't vape in here? You got your phone in here. It's a slow day. Oh, guess what? If you could be on your phone, guess what I could do? I could vape. Yep. <laughs> no, this ain't weed. This is this is just the nicotine vape, man. I'm not allowed to smoke anymore. I keep on getting that stuff taken away from me by this guy named Bites. He doesn't like me, man. Yep, yep, yep. How's it going, man? How's it going? I've got a what call about you. Well, yeah, he told I, me I, I don't want you smoking that. In if here. he's going to be on his phone, then I get to smoke this. Well, he's saying that uh, he doesn't want you to smoke in here. Oh, if well, you don't quit. comply, I, he's gonna I, get I he's gonna want to fire you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you can't be smoking in here. One, I'm it's against health man. code. I'm to be and good. two, There's your manager's telling me not to. There's a deputy named Bites. He's been telling me to like better my path, man. Yeah, he's telling me to better myself. So I've I well, took that's his the word of advice police, and got a so. job here. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm well, gonna you, you want to keep that job, right? You gotta listen to your boss. Alrighty, man. Alrighty then. Have a good one. Alrighty. So we're gonna give it a few minutes and whatnot. I'm gonna sit here and do some RPing of me, just uh, you know, doing my thing and whatnot. Then, um, afterwards, then I'm going to. Uh, Wait till this guy leaves, obviously. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, basically then RP that after a few hours. I open up the register and I'm going to RP that there's $600 in there. And I'm going to take the $600. And then after I take the $600, then he's going to make a 911 call. And then he's going to say that. I stole the $600, and then I'm going to see where it goes from there. But yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a few, let this cop go, and then I'm going to steal the $600. And then after I steal the $600, I'm going to then get in my car, leave. But I'm going to make sure beforehand I got a 911 call reported by Hermes over here, my uh, boss. And then basically after uh, um, he makes the report and whatnot, I'll then send it in and then I'll drive off. What am I doing? Uh, and I'm just, I'm just I'm just gonna open up the register, man. You told me I gotta learn how to use it. Ah, right, there we go. One hundred. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Uh, what, uh, I'm going to clock out for today. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, I'm taking this for an eviction notice, man. An evict, yeah. Just take it out. You can't do that. Well, you are doing it today. So, yeah, yeah you're doing it today, man. You're calling the cops. Fuck you. Say he's calling the cops, I mean, go ahead, call the cops, man. Let's get out of here, man. Now I just gotta make it back to Sandy. I gotta go drop this off at my wife's house and tell her, like, yeah, see, I got a job and made some money, see? Uh, 
Was it that stop sign? Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Mikey with the California Highway Patrol. Do you, mean, Do you know why I'm stopping well, you? I'll tell you the reason why I went through it. I almost got hit by that guard that was making a wide left turn. Uh, yes, sir. It was. It was that stop sign indeed. Uh, any... uh, yeah, sure I do. There you go. Uh, okay, okay. Well, do you have your uh, license and registration All with right. you here tonight, sir? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna, I'll be right back and uh, hold tight. Maybe we get everything squared away, okay? Put the money in the glove box. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Wait a minute. How many guys? What? What? What's going on? Two, three. What's, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, sure. What's going on? Hey, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, man. Can you, uh, can you step out of the vehicle, please? Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Alright, uh, sir, uh, can you put your hands up, please? At this, at this moment. Oh, yeah, I was working at the twenty-four seven. At this seven, moment, you're really, being detained. The cops got called uh, me for vaping in there. Your name the cops came back. To, uh, quit. Have you been? Then, have you been to uh, a store lately? Before I left, I told them to take six hundred dollars out of my paycheck, and I took it from the register. Well, yeah. Well, I told them to take it out of my paycheck. Okay, so you're so you are admitting that you did steal the money from well, that's why the I told him. He uh, said he couldn't do that, but I took it anyway. Hey, so I told him to do it, and he said he's Let me talk to you right quick. So I left. Me? So they Whichever took it one. out of your All right, paycheck. Go pull down there. Better. I mean, technically, he'd get the money back. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm working for the money, uh, which is I took six hundred okay. in advance. He's gonna get it back. Well, stick it out my paycheck. Give me a second. 
Nope, nothing's on me. And I'll be honest with you, the money's in the glove box. Okay. Uh, you don't have anything on I'm you that'll probably to help stick my family, with you. Man, we're getting evicted. All right, sir. Well, uh, that, that's understandable. All right, I'm gonna put you in the back of my car for a minute, and uh, I'm gonna go and, uh, do, do this little investigation. I'll check your uh, glove box, and you know, for your cooperation, maybe we can have some leniency, okay? Let's see. He's gonna investigate my car. He's gonna check the glove box and whatnot, and he's gonna go talk to some officers, or whatever, see what's going on. Who would I go back to jail? I mean, I'm trying to be an honest man. I'm just trying to help my family out, man. We're getting evicted, man. I don't want to go back to jail. I'm trying to hear them, but it's hard. They're too far. Well, we're just going to see what happens. Just being honest, I mean, I don't want to go back to jail. It's just, I'm trying to help my family. I, I told me you could take it out in advance. I mean, I'm working there. Oh, they're going to tow my van, take it back to the impound, I think. Oh, no, man. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. Just All right, fine, sir. Man. So this is what's this is what's happening at this point. Okay, just want you to know that you you understand. Can you hear me? All right, sweet. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna read you your rights, okay? The right, you have the right to remain silent. Yeah, I do, man. The I'm right to consult jail? with an attorney, and the right to have an attorney present during any interrogation or questioning uh, by law. Do you do you understand the rights that I've, I've, I've read to you? Uh, at this point, yes, you are. All right, man. My name's uh, Sergeant Mason with the sheriff's department. Um, so I. He, this uh this trooper over here told me that you know you were just trying to help out your family by taking out the money out of the cash register but um unfortunately that is still robbing a store uh no matter which way you look at it um you did take the money out of the register and you did leave with it that is robbing a store I'm sorry, um, man. I mean, I wasn't so I, there's really no other way to say it um so unfortunately you are gonna have to go to jail for that because that is illegal crime Right, and I understand that, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat this in any way. You pretty much fucked your family over by doing that because you are now going to jail for that. And uh, I did look into your vehicle. Yeah, I did not see any money in the glove box. Sorry. Did you, uh, by any chance, already use that money to pay your rent or mortgage or whatever you're trying to pay? Okay, so... That is going to be known as unmarked stolen money, <laughs> just due to the fact that you did take it out of a cash register. Um, so, I, I understand. We totally understand what you're uh, getting no, at, but unfortunately, it is the uh, law that you are going to be arrested for due to stealing the store. Um, Trooper, if you want to go ahead well, and tow his vehicle, that is totally fine. Van. It was yeah, nice you can go ahead and uh, get it out of impound. Up. It's going to be at the uh, sheriff's department. Uh, it depends on when he came and yeah, got it. I mean, like I said, I you can totally that. talk to the towing company to about it. Him. But uh, I'm going to have this trooper take you back. And if it would make you feel more comfortable, I can follow him back to the station as well. Uh, trooper, <laughs> is that okay <laughs> if he rides with me? Yeah, that's fine. You want to take him? 
Yeah, I'll take him. Sir, uh, Trooper, did you already search him? Uh, yeah, he searched. He didn't have nothing on him but a phone and some food. Um, You're gonna have to get him out of the car. I can't get him. M Mickey Sticky Flowers. There we go. All right. So, Trooper, if you want to meet us back. What's your name? Tell me your name. All right, Mr. Flowers. Uh, Trooper, what's your name? Uh, this is uh, Mikey Venture. All right, yeah, Mr. Really Venture. Go ahead and meet me myself, back at the station, uh, okay? Guys All right. We're going to my station. All right, that's fine with me. I'll follow you. All right. Yeah, he's not on our department, but he is a very well trusted person. So I mean, what, pretty much I mean, whatever he job, says, you know, you should really too, listen to. Like, a lot of people was, on was, departments and everything, you should probably paid, listen to. They so they know the law, figured, you know so what? like I'll just take six hundred out and he could take it out in the vans, and he tried saying I couldn't do that and something about the cops, but I just left. Eleven Sam sixteen ten fifteen and route to Sandy Station. <laughs> yeah, really sorry. I'm just going through a rough time getting evicted. My buddy, he got blown up by a girl. Hey, hey. Yeah. We're transport. We come to pick people up. Okay, I'm sorry. You, I was just there. I prefer I'll she call would take you me. next time. No, it's okay. We're just making it easier for you guys. Uh, come on. You can take him right now, and we'll do the report. I'm sorry. I tried better. Yeah, we're gonna do the do it. We'll do all the rest report for you. Um, all right. I don't care. Where Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, so he robbed the store. I did, I did, uh, I did. He took the money out of the cash yeah, register. I did admit. I'll take him, uh, Chief. I'll take we him. can check uh, CCTV if you would like, but you did admit it, admit well, to it after, you read, on, after your rights were read, to so him. it's totally admissible. And he, uh, he failed to abide by traffic control devices. You want me to charge him with that? Oh, come on, man, you don't gotta say, you don't gotta cuss. Chief, I can put him in the van if you'd like. Oh, uh, what's up, Smalls? I remember we did community Thank service you. together. Thank you. Yes, we did. I'm trying to better I was myself. Going, Mickey, I my mean... name is uh, Officer Smalls. Yeah, I didn't mean to steal the six hundred dollars. It's just we're getting evicted, and I told him to take it out of my paycheck. He said we couldn't do that. Did we really? It's back when I was the commissioner, right? I'm trying to better myself. Bites told me that I need to quit going to jail. Yeah, no, I'm trying to better myself. Okay. I'm trying to better myself. I didn't mean to steal the money. I just needed to get it because we're getting evicted. He'd be correct when I say that. Yeah, I, well, yeah, you're talking when he to says me. that. Yes, I know. And I'm trying to better myself, man. We buckle you up back there. Mickey, would you believe that I'm in here no, right I'm now? Sorry. Yeah, you know this is life, right? I'm just having a rough time. We're getting evicted, oh, getting and Dickie got blown up by that grill the other day. He's still in the hospital. Hit the lights. Just having a rough time, man. I really do want to better myself, Bates. I hear you. I know. I hear you. I know, man. Other people can't fix it for you. You know, that's something only you can fix. We can only help you so much. You know, officers can only help you so much. You want to stop, Chief? It's all good, man. I understand something's going on. Chief? I'm safe in here. Hopefully. I'm not going to leave you, sir. Oh, what's going on out there? I'm hearing cars crash. 
Okay, man. Whoa. You just, you just stay right here. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Technically, I don't know what's going on, but I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, when Bites got into the van, he said, Mickey. He was like, You know, it was in the front seat, right? I'm like, Yeah, I know. He was like, I'm Bites. I'm like, Yeah, I know. I knew it was Bites. <laughs> and just, I'm trying to let the other officers know. Like, he's try I mean, he literally tried to tell me to be a better person. I'm trying, man. I didn't mean to steal that six hundred dollars. I mean, technically, I, I dropped off at our house. Heard send about an officer down. What? What's going on out here? Help! Help! Hey, there's an officer down down there. Hey, sir, you need to jump. You need to jump badly. And you were worried about me. somebody in that car? Oh. I don't know if no one's in there. I don't. Um, it's hard to tell. Is there somebody in here? I'm gonna go first, first. What does it look like back here? Oh, I can't even really see. Yeah, see. yeah they're taking me to jail, man. Uh, if you can, I'd really appreciate it. Is there someone in here? I mean, hopefully. I can maybe help you. I think you're gonna be let go after this. Get back away, bro. Okay. Hey, is my car okay? I don't know what your car is. It's the red one. Car's probably not gonna be okay. I was driving down the road and the guy hit me. Alright, why, why don't you go chill by your car, okay? Hey, officer. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna run away. Oh, no, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm in here. Alright. All I'm just gonna shut everybody out there. Oh, I can't oh. really do nothing. I'm locked in the. <laughs> the locked Lambo? In the okay, alright. Well, he's in custody. Lambo? Was he in a white Lambo? Was he in a white yeah, Lambo? Yeah, I got shot by a white Lambo, too. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. I know who he is. I'm at him. Where he at? Where he at? Where he at? Where he at? Job, bro. I really would slide on the board, bro. I don't know, bro. Some dude and Dang, some challenge, he, he just tried to put me at gunpoint. I'm like, both of our feet. They crashed into my face. There's your fire chief, so you can't push when you want. My vehicle. Uh, I gotta do the fire chief. Okay. Okay. You wanna have a little cool. friendly fist fight by my car? Someone else is blocked in the back of this cop car. I mean, what the. We can see we're brothers. I need you to put me on to your shoes. I have no idea what You got a drip on me. Where did our transport units go? I think that dude from here at the company, he coming back. He in a purple challenger. Watch this. He about to drop out. Let's see if someone's still in the car. If he falls enough, I know there's a priority, so I think they can't, but... Uh, I'm just stuck here. <laughs> yep. Mickey is in the back of our transport van. He was the guy that was pulled over over here. He was getting arrested by uh, C. Mason. So, uh, they just left me here? Where'd they go? Uh, that's a great question. Are we at the prison yet? Uh, Chief Bites. What's going on? Did we get to a car accident or something? Hold on one second. <laughs> Technically, I can't see anything at RP, so 
Even though I'm third person, I see it technically. I don't see any of this. Technically, if I want to be legit, this is all I'm seeing. <laughs> well, screw that. <laughs> No, I'm not related to this moon. <laughs> Let's run out of here, man. Oh, he's not injured. He's not related to this moon. Oh, Bites was a fire Thank department you. at first. I knew he was. I was, on just, a I was literally just. I was literally. Yeah, I know, right? I was literally <laughs> just working on at, at on the on the fire department. Should I wait for bites, Chief, or should I wait for bites? So are you a fire chief or are you a... Nice. No. Not really. Oh my god. Yeah, well, bites is back. Welcome back, Chief. <laughs> Someone Welcome tried back, to Chief. do some FRP, but they got away and wasn't supposed to get away, and bikes went after them. Is he going to jail? Time or two. Are we there yet? What's going on? I can't see anything back here. Are we there yet? <laughs> this is workplace. I harassment. call him daddy too. If it's that guy yeah, talking I call to him, daddy wait, too. where's my? Oh, he's over there. I'm sure your mother does too. I'm sure your mother does too. I'm just stuck in the back of this fucking transport van. Waiting to get transported. <laughs> all, all this fucking chaos happened. Jesus. How's it going, officer? Good. Are we there yet? I can't see nothing back here. Alrighty. Are we there yet? I can't see nothing back here. Yeah, it is. We're trying to get out of here. Oh, we're yeah. on the side of the road? Yeah, I feel the air. What'd you say, Nicky? Yeah, it feels good. It's just... No, we're still on the side of the road. And I'm not tired. Yeah, is I got the air moving, so you should be fine. Is it is it is it dark back there, sir? I got a light. There's a light. Oh, there's a light. I was gonna hey, say if hey, there's dark back there, I'll take a nap. You see, belted yep, uh, straight against the metal wall. I mean, I mean, that's how I that's how I slept was. in school. Was straight up and down. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm, yeah. He's about to experience that. Yeah, I was in prison once. Yeah, I was on the show 60 days in. And he lost his door. Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't have it that tough. I did one of those bees, miss. I'm going after them. Oh, I mean, that's going to be money on the department. What's going on, man? I know, man. I, I, I asked where we're at. I can't see nothing back here. Yeah, we 
Mickey. I totally forgot you were back here, dude. Alrighty, man. Whoa. Okay, Mickey. We're gonna let you go. First day on the job, and I'm gonna shoot him. He just crashed. Yep, yep. That's what you get your driving like an asshole. Wait, leave me in the cuffs. No, don't leave me in cuffs. I'll pull him out. Make you out here. I don't know how to get out of cuffs. Leave me in cuffs, though. Yeah, leave me in the cuffs. Oh, wait, so try it now. I'll see if belt's undone. Maybe that was why? I don't know. I can't get him. May uh, get out, Chief? No, take me out of the cuffs. No, oh, come on, please. Ah, oh, come on, man, no, please. You said leave him in cuffs, Chief? Yeah, you leave him in those fucking cuffs. What? What? You want to be uh, like that, Mickey? You want to keep getting arrested? No, really? Come on, man. Bro, they just left me a cuffs. <laughs> bro. You have a good one, bud. Bro. What, what, what are you... Uh, are you gonna take him up, please? My gloves? No, don't take my gloves. <laughs> what? No. no. That's my hat, man. No, we forgot to take your clothes. Yeah, we're taking your clothes <laughs> off. Uh, yeah, I like that hat. See if I can find which one it is. There you go. There we go. Slash hat, Nick. Oh man, come on! Please don't take all my clothes. You might as well, you might as well skiv skiv you down, man. With all your clothes down to the bridges. All, right. all right, man. Yep. So I'll leave, I'll leave you some modesty with your pants. I'm taking those damn shoes. I am. Um... Are those the same shoes you got in prison? Yep. Shit. Take the shirt off. Take your shirt number 15! Oh man, they're stripping me to my skinnies, man. I'm serious. Excuse me. I just fluctuated. Released some fluctuants. So I did go to 15. I gotta change my other overlay, I guess. Fifteen, big dog. I don't know why they're both set to 15, but it's giving me this stupid blue shirt. Alright, there we go. I got you, up. Yep.
Gotta go. There you go. Now you gotta change your upper, buddy. And your lower. Pick your pants. No. Haven't you ever gotten there, any sun? I took my shirt, my shoes, my hat. I thought you were leaving my pants. Uh. Oh, come on, man. And your pants. All right, you get the watch, too. No, I'm not. Take your pants off. Taking your un I, I'm, you can have your underwear. Yep, hold on, I'm taking my Hey, watch. and uh, Chief, that's a nice watch, isn't it? That is a nice watch. I bet you can take it off. Alright, come on, strip in the underwear. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> ah, come on. That looks good. Okay, get walking. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. And you're gonna tell the police when they hey when you're gonna tell the police when they have to uh, fuck you <laughs> that you had a sexual fantasy and your girlfriend died. Like you it has a, like, you understand? Take my car, do we have charges, fucking ass was like, man. So, next time day, you get arrested, hey, don't talk to me, I'm mad at you. You have a good day, Mickey. Make me walk in my skivvies. What? Did they hurt? No, I'm not gonna get arrested anymore. Mickey! Ugh, fuck you! How are those rocks? How do they feel? I uh, spit on me. You're gonna get arrested anymore? Alright, I hope. Ah, uh, this is the worst day ever, man. Uh, uh, they got me walking in my skivvies, man. Are you serious? Hey, shut up. I know, shut up. I know, they took my skivvies away, man. Uh, and the worst part is I can't even fall asleep because I'm locked in handcuffs. God damn it. Ah. Uh. This is the worst day ever, man. <laughs> they they stripped me down to my boxers. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. <laughs> fucking asshole, fucking caps. Handcuffed me and steal my clothes, stole my watch, stole my hat, stole everything, man. My car's in the impound, it's good, it, oh my god. It's ridiculous, man. Hey, quit filming me. <laughs> well, Officer Bites handcuffed me and told me to tell you guys that I got a fetish that I like these handcuffs and I like my bedroom, but he stole my clothes, my hat, everything. Him and his buddy in that transport van. So, why are you handcuffed? Alright, so I was getting ready to go to jail. I was being transported by uh -huh. Bites and some My, other guy, uh, sergeant's and then some chaos happened down the street. Well. well, then they let me go, but then they stripped my clothes, right, uh, took my watch, tell them what you my just hat, told me. my shirt, Shirtless my shoes, everything. Guy. 
put me down to my boxers and then they left and they left me in the handcuffs they said that this is what I get for being arrested yes he was yes and then he tried to apologize to me before he left he spit on me and it was a hawker and then him and his buddy left. was I driving past you when that happened I heard part of that conversation well, Uh, that sounds like an O3 problem there, sir. I I don't I don't even know what the fuck you do. I've what never had this happen. This I'm, a, I'm not paid enough for that. Going to jail. Uh, I'm not either. Even though I am the O3, I don't get paid shit for this. Uh, seems that, uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh yeah, there he is. The man that spit on me is in that van. I'll be back. Alright. Oh, you know what's up with me. You know what's up. You stripped me. You took my clothes. Like three to PD transport. Yeah, you strip you, and then you spit on me. Right, uh... hey, see, yeah, that's my hat right there. It's my hat. That's because you guys stripped me. That's yeah, my yeah, hat he's wearing. Check my ID. Guy. That's yeah. my hat. You're saying you stripped them, and I. I... No, that's my hat, man. I've never seen this hat before at all. This hat for why? Are you, yeah, you, why are you barefoot, dog? Yeah, I see it. We didn't strip you. We didn't... I think this I guy's on drugs. Lucky you can't see the middle of my finger. Check his computer. Look at this. No, look at this. I'm handcuffed. My pen right here. Look at the end of my yeah, mirror here. I can see it. Yeah. I, I can get you. Let me see if my cups, my cup key unlocks this. Yeah, it does. You're free to stop using handcuffs. You guys are assholes. No, I haven't had any drugs. Yes, I mind because I didn't take any drugs. Sir, have you had any drugs? No. Do you mind if I do a DNA test real quick? Well, you're also walking around half naked. Step down. What a strip me! They didn't take my stuff. Go away. Go away. <laughs> this is what you guys get. You you want to take my clothes? You guys are getting the scenery, god damn it. <laughs> I get point two, see? Go away. Go away! Go away! Leave me alone!
Just go away. Hey, get down. Hey, get down. Don't come up. Get down. Get down. Don't come up. Get down. No, I don't want you to talk to me. You took my clothes. Yeah, you got. You guys took my clothes, my hat, and everything. And you left me in cuffs. You hear me? Under, I, yeah. I'm gonna come up and talk to you. I'm trying to be a better man. And I uh, messed up. We have I mean, no, two I don't want to do with you no more. Leave me alone. Right now. You, you can stand. We're you can stand talk. on the top, but you're not coming down here. here. I'm gonna talk to you, all right? All right, man. Listen to me. No, you're staying up there. Mickey, I'm gonna come over there and talk to you, all right? Oh, fine. Okay. You I'm stay on this talk. side. I'm gonna, keep my hands up for you, okay? I'm gonna come down on the ledge with you, okay, Mick? What do you want? Dude, I have to come down there so I can destroy your safety. What? All right, man. Mickey. Well, I want you to understand. I just want to go home I'll now. I'll keep my hands up here, okay? Hey. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything, dude. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to understand what's going on. No, I'm so gonna keep my, you, put okay? my back against the wall. We're not, hey, we're not gonna do anything to you, buddy. Hey, I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking. Well, that's okay, fine. That's fine, and that's fine. We're not gonna well, cuff you. Well, for one, you can have that officer down there that was trying to drug test okay. me, even though I'm not on drugs, trying to drug test oh. me and to take me to jail. Like, all, all, and that's why I came up here. He ain't gonna drug test me. I was just this arrested. Room, okay, and what can, what can we do to help you? Well, if you guys let me go, I'll get down. All right, deal. We don't want. Hey, we don't. We don't want to drug test you, man. All right, man. Deal. I'll let you go. You can walk away free. I feel you, man. Hold on. I gotta get down off my radio. Can you get off my radio? Cause I can't hear you. Okay. Listen, last thing I'm worried All about right, is man. to get okay? an update. Better be telling the truth, man. Last thing that I want to do is to see you get hurt and jump down off here. I'm going to walk so away once you get down. All we have to do is just get you to come down off this ledge, and then I will gladly let you walk free, okay? Okay. Are you going to tell the truth and not, not do anything dumb? Joey. Yeah. Advise that we're going to be coming down. Oh, Tell this them way, not, to we're going anyway. not to come near us when we get down. Okay? All right, sounds good. Copy. And you go down. Go around the other way, and I'll walk him down. All right. Okay. Guys, so hey, we're going to be coming. Hey, Mickey, uh, yeah, Mickey, come here. Follow there, me. Do okay? not approach. And do not cut the subject. We're going to come this way. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. A deal's a deal. Yeah. No, no, a deal's a deal. A deal's a deal. You want to play that game with me? I'm out of here. Hey, Mickey, come here for a minute. Mickey. Okay. What are you doing? 
Yeah, you guys took my water away. I'm thirsty and hungry. I passed out because I ain't getting nothing to drink. You Taking guys took you over it here because you're hurt. I'm go to jail. All right. Okay. Sit down. Don't say bites is playing that he's dead, or the, the guy that was with them, or whoever is playing that they're dead. Whoever went down, I think it was bites that went down first. Oh, I went down and then bites went after me. He's the one that fell. The one I kind of laughed at when he fell. <laughs> they they stripped me from the, my to my skivvies. Bad day, man. I got a, I got a first aid kit. <laughs> I swear to God, they never not they better not RP that he's dead and then send me to jail because of this. <laughs> he told me he was gonna let me leave. I fucking pass out. God damn it. Yeah, I'm good. I just want to go home. I live in my van. You guys already impounded that. Sorry about that. Yeah, dude, uh, nope. You good, bro? Getting evicted, as I told you. Yeah. Nope. Where do you live, Mikey? I can go to is Dicky, but he's in the hospital, so I don't know where his van's at. Can you even place to stay tonight? Nobody you can go to. Uh, that's, that sounds good, man. Yeah, someone somebody stole mine. I right. know, I know who Come stole it here. too. It was you guys. I got a, I got a cuff you, but I'm gonna take you your two. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna get your room you tonight. Okay. You guys was. Uh, and also make sure that it gets a change of clothes too. Yeah, well, that's so weird. And it's so no, weird. No, that's what your other officer said. That's why I stole it. up on the billboard. He wanted to drug test me. I'm like, I'm not on ah. drugs. And if I was on drugs, how could I? Because I was in your guys' custody and then got released out of your guys' custody. So if I had any drugs on me, you guys would have took it away. So are you on drugs? Nope. I quit taking drugs because every time I get drugs... A guy named Bites always comes around and says, Mickey, 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 you can't be smoking, and he takes it away from me. 
So you sure you're not so on drugs? You have to get any drugs, kind of drugs tonight? And stuff because yeah, I'm always going to jail for that. So that's why I got a job. And I mean, yeah, I took the six hundred dollars out of the register, but I mean, I told them to take it out of my paycheck. It is what I had a rough day. We're getting evicted. Dickie's in the hospital. I'm having a rough day. You guys almost sent me to jail like twice. My clothes got stolen. And someone saying that they don't know who did it, even though they did do it. I'm just having a bad day, man. I appreciate this motel. Yes, sir. Alrighty, man. Alrighty. Alrighty, man. Thank you, man. Yep, I will. All right, let's come up and get you a room. I'll get you a room, and I'll give you the keys, okay? Yeah, it's very it's very weird, but it is what it is. Alrighty. Here are the keys. It's room yeah, 102. Man. Yeah, just get some of my clothes. It's really weird what happened to your clothes. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. L-A-R-P, Mickey Sticky Fly. Hey, got to bump my cigarette real quick? No, I then fuck you. L.A.R.P. everyone, making sticky flowers. I stole money from my job. I was trying to help my family out. It didn't work. I got my clothes stolen by two officers who know that they stole my clothes. And R.P. that they didn't know what was going on, even though they knew what was going on. What a coincidence. That's why I went up to the billboard. Then they tried saying I was in drugs, trying to arrest me again. After they just let me go, like, what a day. My, bu my buddy Dickie is in the hospital, he got blown up by some douchebag that hit his new girl that he bought, and he's never gonna have one of those, probably for another few years, because it took me a long time to save up that money. Then, another then, we're getting evicted from our house, my wife played some games on me, saying she was here or there, so I just dropped the money off at the house, and then, well, actually, I was RPing that I dropped the 600 in the car, but when the guy asked, I said, because he checked, he said he didn't see it in there, so... I just said, whatever, if you don't see it, then I'm RPing it somewhere else. So that's how that situation kind of went. Um, I told him it was in the car. He said he doesn't see it, and I'd RP it. There's no money script in here where you could have money. So it is what it is. Uh, RP it is RP'd. I mean, you got to do what you got to do in situations with you got to work with what you got to work with. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, LARP, Mixed Sticky Flowers, had a terrible, terrible, terrible day, man. Terrible day. I hope his life changes and gets a little bit, bit better than it did before, but as of right now, it, it, it looks terrible, man. It, it looks terrible. He's down to his skibbies. His back's just, man. He got robbed by the cops. Fucking pigs, man. I mean, they sit there and they, they, they talk about all this and all that, you know, and how they, they got this much money and blah, blah, blah and whatnot, but then... They said they don't abuse their powers and all that. And what did it do? Abuse their powers. And if you don't believe me, you saw it here in this episode. Strip me down to my skivvies. Now, out of RP, don't get me wrong. Bytes is a phenomenal person in this server. He really is. And that RP was really funny, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really funny. So, without further ado, as I said um, many times at this ending... That was LARP, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode. So I'll see you guys on this next wacky episode, whether I'm with my buddy, by myself, or someone else. Until next time, see you guys next time.